Today we're going to talk about solids. A solid is a three-dimensional figure that takes up space. Here you can see I have a cube. A cube is a very well-known solid. A solid has room to put things inside. For instance, a box is a solid. This one is a cube. Kind of looks like a box. All right. So first there are some terms we must know. The first term we're going to look at is edge. When we think of an edge, I want you to think of it the actual lines. On a, on a box, it would be where the two sides meet. Okay, it makes a crease. This is an edge. This is an edge. We have all of our edges here. Okay? So there we have the edge. The next thing is the, the vertex or vertices when referring to more than one. It is the point at which two edges meet. So you can see right here, that is our vertex. And finally, we have our face. Our face are the sides of the three-dimensional figure. So in this case, if you think of a cube, we have six sides, just like dice. You have six sides. On a cube, you have six sides. So we have one here, two, three, four, and then the top and bottom with five and six. Let's look at some examples of other solids. Some of you may recognize these right away. Others we may not know. So the first one, again, it looks like a cube, but there's a specific name for this. It's called a prism. A prism has a couple things. Number one, it has parallel bases. You can see the top and the bottom are the same. They'll never meet if you run them out, okay? The same size or shape, the bases are the same. That makes, um, that makes it a prism and parallelogram faces, right? These faces are parallel to each other, these faces are parallel to each other, and then the front and the back are parallel to each other. That's what a prism is. Now, you can have a rectangular prism where all the faces are rectangular. You can have um, a triangular prism where the bases are triangular. Okay, you can have a square prism or a cube. The next one we'll look at is a cylinder. Now what makes the cylinder special is it has two parallel circular bases. So you can see these bases down here are circular and they're the same size and shape. The rest of it's rounded. So it's different than your typical uh, prism in that it's rounded face. Then we have the cone. The cone has only one circular base and then it meets at one point or one vertex at the top and makes a tip. Kind of looks like a triangle. Um, but remember, the cone has the circular base. And finally, we have the pyramid. The pyramid is named, can be named by its base. It has a polygonal base. This can be an octagon. It can be a rectangle. It can be a pentagon, a septagon, can be any of those um, shapes, but it all meets at one point. So this particular one has a square base. So it has four sides plus a base. All right, so it has four faces and a base, and they all meet at one vertex. It has a common vertex and triangular faces to meet at that common vertex. So again, to review, we have a prism. The prism's named by the base. Okay, you could have rectangular prism, and you could have um, a square prism. We have the cylinder with the, the parallel bases again, and they're circular bases. Then you have one circular base that makes a cone, and finally, you have a pyramid which meets at one point, and the base is a polygonal base.